One day, Paul was praying when suddenly a whirlwind of light appeared to him. In the blink of an eye, Paul found himself floating up into the sky, <laughs> higher and higher, past the clouds, and into a place like no other. He landed softly on ground, made of clouds that sparkled like diamonds. This was no ordinary place. This was heaven. Paul looked around in wonder. The first thing he noticed was the music. It was as if every beautiful sound he had ever heard was being played all at once by angels. They had wings that glowed, and their music made the air dance with colors. Then Paul saw something amazing. Animals he had never seen before. There were lions with wings, talking to peacocks with silver feathers, and gentle giants that could float. Everywhere he looked, there were creatures full of joy and peace. Wow. In front of Paul, there was a path with holy light leading to a magnificent palace. The palace was made of a crystal so clear Whoa. you could see the rainbow inside it. As Paul walked, flowers along the path bloomed just Ooh. for him. Suddenly, in front of the palace, wow. Paul saw a figure so bright he could hardly see. It was Jesus, surrounded by a dazzling light. Jesus smiled at Paul, and his heart filled with a happiness he had never known. Jesus didn't speak with words, but Paul could understand everything he wanted to say. It was as if love itself was talking, telling him secrets about Whoa. joy and peace. Jesus showed Paul a river that sparkled with life. The water was not just blue, it was alive with every color Paul could imagine. Along the riverbank there was a tree that bore twelve kinds of fruits, one for each month, and its leaves could heal anything. Paul wanted to stay forever, but his visit had come to an end. The whirlwind of light gently carried him back down to earth. He landed back where he started, filled with incredible joy and peace. <laughs> he knew he had been given a glimpse of heaven to share hope with everyone, to tell them about the amazing love and wonderful place that awaits those who believe. <laughs> Paul could hardly find the words to describe what he saw and felt, but he tried his best, telling everyone about the music, the animals, the river of life, and most importantly, the endless love of <laughs> Jesus Christ. And even though it was hard for people to understand everything, they could see the truth in Paul's eyes and the love in his heart. They knew he had seen something extraordinary, a glimpse of heaven, and it filled them with hope and joy. Knowing that paradise is real, 